And now, a Zone It 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! In Don't Look Up, two low-ranking astronomers try to warn mankind of a newly discovered comet that's on a cataclysmic collision course with planet Earth. But in today's political climate, such a task proves easier said than done. Adam McKay directs the stacked cast in this fierce satire of the United States and the way it handles a global crisis. Leading this massive cast are Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence who play the astronomers who discover said comet but are having a hard time getting the warning of impending doom out to the masses because their message doesn't fit the political agenda of those in charge. Like the stance within the movie of whether or not to look up, this film will no doubt be a polarizing one. It comes incredibly close to the global crisis of our reality and plays off of people's opinions on how well or poorly it's been handled. Don't Look Up primarily comments on the US administration and US citizens refusal to listen to experts while instead taking the word of talking heads like biased media outlets, social media influencers, and celebrities. The movie had me chuckling and laughing quite a bit during my watch, and for the most part I had a fun time with it. DiCaprio and Lawrence are outstanding as one would likely expect, and they're supported by an all-star cast. The main problem I had with the film is that it's way too long. The pacing fluctuates and you can definitely feel the 2 hours and 18 minutes. This in itself is somewhat of a shame because the concept of the film right up until the mid and post credit scenes is intriguing. But what's unfortunate is that somewhere around the second act, it becomes a bit of a chore to continue on with. That being said, it's definitely a film worthy of its buzz, so if you decide to hit play on it, you'll likely find yourself talking about it for days after your watch. Cut! That's a wrap!